so Robert, what excites you the most in in you know in collaborating with with other artists and you know in working with 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 Mocha for for Mocha? First of all, ang sabi mo nga, di ba? Um, all my life, I've been creating art for Pape Melroti, our family business. Meron akong sariling uh, negosyo na I have my own clients. Tapos sabi mo nga, yung promil. So sobra akong excited na Wow! Magiging artist na talaga ako sa isang gallery. So talagang sobra akong excited and sobrang grateful. Grateful kay Ricky. Grateful sa MOCAF. Um, it's a big ambition of mine. You know, all this time, I, I'm already, what, 58 years old? Going on 60 All this time, going to Art Philippines, Art Maka, yung parang parati ako naiinggit na parang hindi ako kasali. Kung lang ako, tagagawa lang ako ng bookmarker sa Pape Melroti. Pero things changed during this pandemic because it's only now, during this pandemic, na I started to show my work online and sell it. And so I'm really, really grateful because um, maraming interesado um, at hindi, hindi ko akalain na ganun yung reception. I'm, I'm really, really grateful beyond words. So based on your words, Sir Robert, um, is this your first time to, ano, to have your artworks in a gallery like, like MoCAF? Practically, yes. Pero Long, long time ago, siguro mga, I don't know, 20, 30 years ago, I, was, I had a client bookmark and they asked me to design a store. Tapos yung second floor gallery, tapos uh, since bago pa lang siya at wala pang artist, ako na naglagay ng artwork doon. So parang it's not really, yung parang linagay ko lang yung artwork ko doon kasi nga wala nang iba. So, parang no formal yung, gallery. Parang yes. So, totoo yung sabi mo, this is my first time. Can you believe it? For senior senior citizen na ako, first time ko. So napakalaking bagay para sa akin. Um, I'm so grateful I can do this um, habang buhay pa ako. <laughs> so Robert, just give us a glimpse on what can we expect from from your artworks na makikita namin dito sa MoCAF on July 29 onwards. Alam mo, maraming nangyari sa akin during this pandemic. Maraming nangyari sa akin actually in these past few years. I'm not sure if you know, um, six or seven, I forgot na how many years ago, I was um, diagnosed with colon cancer. And Of course, that really changed my life uh, in so, so many ways. Um, but recently, what happened was, uh, nagka-problema ako sa health and I had to see a doctor in St. Luke's. And honestly, I was feeling okay. Um, Ricky doesn't know this story. Um, I was feeling okay. So I was expecting na parang, oh, you're doing okay. Yun yung, um, yun yung expectation ko when I saw the doctor. But when the doctor said, everything is too late, um, practically she said, there's no more hope for you except chemotherapy, which I, which I don't want to do, chemotherapy. Um, And, and sabi nga niya, if you don't do chemotherapy, it will get worse and worse and worse. And of course, I felt so bad. Yung, um, pero hindi lang ako nagsasalita. But sabi ko, akala, because I, I didn't feel so, I didn't feel bad naman. Um, anyway, ang nangyari, pagdating ko sa bahay, gumawa ako ng mga artwork. 
na completely different from from the 58 years that I've been doing. Pape Melroti, all the all the nice, all the good work that I've been doing, but it completely changed when I got this prognosis nga from the doctor, which I felt na parang, okay, Robert, the, you, we don't know if you have a future. Uh, and I said, okay, I can let go of the past. I don't have a future. What do I want to do right now? And that's what I did. And that's what they will see at MOCAF. Completely, absolutely different. Um, and then, so I don't know whether people will embrace that because they know, people know my work for 60 years already. I mean, for 50 years, people know my work. And, but at this point in my life, it doesn't matter anymore, diba? What matters is what I will do now, um, what I can do now, what I want to do now. And that's exactly what I did um, for MoCA. So it might be different. I've shown it to a few people and they said it's a maturity. Uh, so I, that's pretty good. But you and I, that's, so it's completely different. Mm. So Robert, I was touched by your words. No? Thank you for, for sharing that. Po. Um, pero for now, Sir Robert, kumusta na po kayo? How, how are you going right now? Thank you for your concern. Um, kasi nga, hindi ako nagkikimo. Honestly, every day, it's, it's a struggle. Um, honestly, I can feel the tumor inside of me. I had to give up pro meal. I had to give up my freelance work. Um, I cannot even do art every day. I cannot even do art just whenever I feel like it, not like before. Um, so whenever I can create and do art, that's a very good day. Um, and I'm grateful for that because some days... I can't. That's the honest truth. Parang nabanggit kanina ni Ricky na parang there will be a workshop din po sa MOCAF. Will you be conducting that workshop as well? Yes! <laughs> oh my God, sir! Alam mo, <laughs> alam mo nag-oo ako kasi akala ko online. <laughs> Tapos, nung kinausap ko yung mga magis, sana hindi online face-to-face. So... So it, was a fa- it will be a face-to-face workshop. Yeah, it will be okay. at the Fairmont on the 31st. And the workshop will be about healing and art. Um, so that's very, very personal also for me because art has always been there for me in my life, um, overcoming my struggles ever since I was a child. I had problems with depression, suicide because of my homosexuality and art has always been there for me. And it's the same now with cancer. It's there for me whenever I create art. I feel normal. I forget that I'm sick. So I will share that um, with the listeners in the MoCAF Mm-hmm. on the so, 31st. Uh, so Robert, for a kid who's been watching you in art school, you know, uh, a millennial who used to watch you when I was in grade school, um, it, it's such an honor for me na to know na you keep on sharing your passion. You keep on giving back what you have. Where are you? Saan niyo po kinukuha yung, 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 yung lakas na yon na sa kabila ng mga nangyari sa inyo, 
patuloy pa rin kayo nagbabahagi at nagtuturo ng kaalaman, particularly sa, sa, sa art. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you for appreciating the work that I've been doing. Uh, I'll be very truthful, ano? Yung like art school uh, sa TV, nagbunga yun dahil nga sa my work with the probe team, with Cheche Lazaro. But even before that, I've been giving art workshops for children who live in extreme poverty. Sorry, I'm emotional because uh, I don't know why I'm emotional. Maybe it's because ito talaga yung love ko sa buhay is really sharing. Um, you know what? When I do the workshops, honestly, nakakalimutan ko yung, yung sarili ko. Yung sa art school, sa TV, actually, ayoko, I don't want to be on TV. Pero, nung binigyan ako ng pagkakataon, sinabi ko sa sarili ko, napakagandang pagkakataon nga na makapagbigay ng art education sa mga batang Pilipino na walang access to art education. Kasi naniniwala ako na yung art, hindi lang naman pagdodrawing yan. It's, it's all about imagination, creativity, problem solving, motor skills napakaraming natututunan yung bata na hindi alam ng mga bata. They're just having fun. But they're learning so much. And so, I said yes to art school even though I didn't want to be on TV. Because of that, um, klaro yun sa akin. And it's the same during the pandemic. I don't know if you know na nagbigay din ako ng online workshops, na libre. Yeah. Uh, na hindi ko na naman inisip yung mahirapan ako or mapapagod ako. Um, pero I'm very grateful that I'm able to do that because uh, I could see that the children really enjoyed and really learned. Um, I get email almost every day even until now, ng tagal-tagal na nung two years ago na yun, na yung bata naging first place sa art class, ganyan. Tapos the, the um, parents thank me, ganun. So, to answer your question, it's, it's more of, nakikita ko yung pangangailangan ng mga bata, at yun ang sinasagot ko. Does that answer your question? Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense, Sir Robert. I feel that. Kasi isa rin ako sa mga tinuruan mo nun. Just by watching your your art lessons, you know, week, eh, weekly talaga. And, you know, to be able to work with with probers then I had a chance to work with probers Nababanggit din nila yon nila LCV na mga cameraman nyo dati, sila Daddy Dinor, sila Kuya Chap. So, it's it's such a, a, a big thing for me na to, to, to hear it from you, Sir Robert, and I'm thankful for that. Hindi man ako naging magaling sa pagdodrawing, siguro dun sa ibang parts ako ng arts, nag-improve or gumaling. <laughs> But Sir Robert, um, pag sa mocha po, you will be in physical event for what? For the three-day event? Tama po, tama po ba? You'll be there? No, I'll just be there for the workshop. For the workshop. For the workshop. Yes, for the workshop. Yes, yes. Opo. But, Opo. but as Ricky was saying, uh, Ricky has been helping me with my, because I think this is already my third online workshop ever since the pandemic. Um, ang gusto ko na sinasabi ni Ricky na inclusive daw yung art ko kasi hindi mahal. So nagpapasalamat ako na kasi I've always wanted that na inclusive yung hindi yung hindi lang para sa mga mayayaman. Um, 
So nung nag So my prices are very friendly, I hope. Um, and as Ricky was saying, Mocha is, is that way as well, inclusive. And I'm really grateful for that because I think a lot of the people who purchase my work, parang they're first time art buyers because na they know me from TV, ganyan. They don't normally buy art, na, you know, from galleries, pero dahil kilala nila yung pangalan ko. Um, so, yun nga, inclusive. Uh, sabi nga ni Ricky at nagpapasalamat ako na ganun. Gusto ko nga yung kapag nag exhibit ako, meron mga 500 pesos, ganyan. Wow, ha, Sir Robert. Ito po, where will the proceeds go po if ever, sa, if someone sa buys? Mocha, sa mocha hindi ganun eh. Uh, oh. Pero yung past work, pa, past online exhibitions ko, meron mga mura talaga hanggang mahal. Sa mocha it's, it's more of, because I have a limited space, so I can't really fill it up with a lot of art. Mm-hmm. Sorry, you were asking, ano yung tanong mo? Where will the proceeds po of, of, of your artworks to be ano, exhibited in mocha go? Sa MOCAF, wala naman akong wala naman. Okay. beneficiary. But by past, my past exhibitions with Ricky, Museo Pambata, and then this 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 NGO I've been working with for more than 20 years is uh, ATD Fourth World. Yun yung sinasabi kong nag-workshop ako sa North Cemetery, sa ilalim ng... ng Pandakan Bridge, ganyan. Marami akong kaibigan doon. Mm-hmm. Alam mo, doon ako nagiging emotional kasi um, yung yung work ko with the NGO, hindi siya yung one time big time. Mga kaibigan ko talaga yun. Yung lumaki na silang magkakaibigan kami. Yung mga, ang sabi nga nila sa akin, Robert, yung mga winner workshop mo nung una, mga lolo't lola na. <laughs> so may relasyon talaga kami at alam pong miss nila ako at miss ko rin sila. Pero with my condition, nag-iba na talaga eh. Ito po, Sir Robert, I'm just curious, kumusta naman po ang Papa, Mil- Papa Melroti ngayon? Kasi parang pag sinabing Robert Alejandro, nakadikit na talaga yung Papa Melroti eh. Kumusta po ang, ang family business ninyo ngayon? Na, n- sobra kami nagpapasalamat na uh, alam nyo naman yung Papa Melroti, it's the most non-essential. <laughs> Di ba? Mga bookmarker, notebook. Pero, ang nakakatuwa, during the pandemic, may kita mo sa mall, ang daming nakasara, pero yung Papi Melody, bukas pa rin. Sabi ko, bakit ganun? Baka naman, baka naman one day maging bankrupt na lang kami. Pero nagpapasalamat kami na buhay pa kami dahil siguro sa on, may online na rin kami sa uh-huh. Shopee, Lazada, um, including the physic the original branch po sa ano sa Morocco. Yes. Oo. Oh. Buhay pa kami at napakalaking bagay noon hindi lang para sa amin kundi lalo na sa mga empleyado namin. We have more than 200 employees. That's more than 200 families who rely on the business. So napakalaking bagay. We did talagang we did everything we could na hindi magsara yung even mga stores hindi kami nagsara so we hope it will get better pa rin um, so every day we're still trying to be as creative as possible to create new work so that people will still be interested in what we do um, and we're really grateful for our patrons um, but it's nothing short of a miracle, really. Mm-hmm. Ito sa robot, sabi, minsan lang tayo mabuhay sa mundo, pero hindi tayo, um, matatandaan tayo based on our actions sa ibang tao. 
kayo sa Robert, we've known you as an artist, as a TV personality, as a businessman. But sa lahat ng cap na sinuot ninyo, how do you want to be remembered as a person? I'll be very frank. I don't care to be remembered. That's the honest truth. Um, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, and I know I will be forgotten. That's the truth. And that's fine. Um, as I said, like the art that I'm creating right now, what's important for me is, is now. I'm talking to you now. I'm so grateful to you now because I can see that you've been, you take notice of my work. I'm so grateful for that. Thank you. Yun lang, um, nagpapasalamat ako dun. But the future doesn't, it doesn't concern me. And the past does not concern me as anymore. Grabe talaga kapag yung when you're face to face with death things really change it's really it's incredible so robert kindly invite po our audience para po sa sa exhibit ninyo and sa workshop ninyo for for mocap hi i'm robert alejandro i'm an artist and i'm part of the mocap exhibition on the 29th of July at Fairmont, Makati. I hope you'll be there. It's one of the face-to-face -face, um, exhibitions that's going to happen. Um, it's very exciting because it's, in, it's a new um, exhibition and it's inclusive and it's going to be very exciting with new artists and established artists as well. I'll see you there, Fairmont Makati, 29th of July.